Hi, in this video, we we'll look at the case when the number of select lines of the multiplexer is not equal to the number of input variables in the given problem. So here we are given, implement the function f of a comma b comma c equal to summation 1, 2, 5 and 7 using 4 is to 1 multiplexer. So first I have to determine the number of select lines. To determine the number of select lines, I will compare the given mux with the general form of the mux. The general form of the mux is given by 2 power n is to 1 and the mux given to me is 4 is to 1 which can be written as 2 power 2 is to 1. So n will be 2. This is your number of select lines. Number of select lines is 2 and number of input variables is 3. So both are not equal. So this will be case 2. Having determined the number of select lines, let us see the next steps in solving the problem. I have to draw the logic symbol of 4 is to 1 marks. Four is to one max will have four input lines, two select lines S0 and S1, one output Y and one enable input Now since I have only two select lines, I can connect only two input variables to this select lines. So I will connect S0 to C and S1 to B. After doing this, I have to construct a implementation table and see what must be connected to each of the data line. So let me construct the implementation table now. The columns of the implementation table will be data lines. So I have D0, D1, D2 and D3. And its row will be the complemented and uncomplemented form of the remaining variable. That is A bar and a. I have to write down the min terms in each of this cell starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Next. I have to circle those min terms that are given to me in the problem that is 1, 2, 5 and 7. So 1, 2, 5 and 7. To determine what must be connected to each of the data line, there are four rules. First rule is if all the min terms along the column are circled, then connect the data line to 1. Second rule is if all the min terms along the columns are not circled then connect the data line to 0. Third rule is if the top row min term is circled and bottom row min term is not circled then connect the data line to complement of the variable. Fourth rule is if the bottom row min term is circled 
and top row min term is not circled. Then connect the data line to the variable. Let me make use of these rules and see what must be connected to each of the data line. Along D0 column, I can see that none of the min terms are circled. So as per rule 2, I must connect D0 to 0. In D1 column, both the min terms are circled. So as per rule 1, I must connect it to 1. Along D2 column, top row is circled and bottom row is not circled. So I must connect D2 to complement of the variable that is A bar. And along D3 column, top row is not circled, bottom row is circled. So as per rule 4, I will have to connect this to the variable that is A. So the four data lines D0, D1, D2 and D3, I have identified to what values must each of this data line be connected. D0 must be connected to 0. So I'll ground that. D1 must be connected to plus 5 volts. D2 must be connected to A bar. So if I connect D3 to A, so this will be A bar. This is your final diagram. I can cross verify this. The inputs are A, B, C. B and C is your select lines. Y is your output. So if I connect ABC to 0, 0, 0, let me see what will be the output. D0 is 0, D1 is 1, since A is 0, D3 is 0 and D2 is 1. Since B and C are 0, 0, D0 gets connected to Y and D0 is connected to ground, hence output will be 0. Similarly, when ABC is 1, 1, 1, a is 1, so D3 will be 1 and D2 will be 0 because A bar is connected to D2. D1 will be 1 and D0 will be 0. BC is 1, 1. So D3 will be connected to Y. A is 1. So A is connected to D3. So Y will be 1. Similarly, if I write down all input combinations and determine for what input combinations the output will be 1, I will get y to be m1 or m2 or m5 or m7, which is same as 1, 2, 5, 7. Thus, I have successfully realized or implemented the given function using 4 is to 1 mux. Thank you.